What's up, guys? Today, I have a really, really big and deep dissection of the Call of Duty Black Ops teaser that just came out a few days ago. And with me, I have some of the masterminds behind trailer dissecting. They came up with the Talixian theory for Nazi zombies. They were the first ones to realize there was a backstory. They're really smart at dissecting what Treyarch gives them in trailers, and I'll just let them introduce themselves. Hey, what's up? Uh, this is Talixian. And this is Vosti3, community manager at WeTheGamers.com. And here's the trailer. <laughs> yeah. And the epic intro. It. Whoever made that intro I needs to this. get a raise. <laughs> they really do. Sick <laughs> intro. Love it's it. Amazing. And you guys know Treyarch really well. You went to the map pack play events. Um, yeah. You know the staff. It's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah Vasti went to it. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Quality is beautiful. It is pretty good, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. I was totally blown away the first time I watched this. I didn't know what was going on. I just loved every minute of it. And I was like, how quick can I get this onto my computer and start dissecting it? <laughs> <laughs> I was right there with you. I thought this was awesome. So there it is. <laughs> the Black Ops Not trailer. Much. Uh -huh. Not much. There's nothing there. There's nothing. That's the yeah. other part. <laughs> I have nothing to add. <laughs> they have, you know, the release date in it. Um... And a lot of the actual, like, in-game stuff, you know, if you break it down, they I think they reveal a lot. It's a lot of in-game footage, believe it or not. Um, it looks like there's a lot of single-player and multiplayer um, video footage within the trailer. So um, I was kind of shocked yeah. to see some of some big key things uh, for the backstory or for the storyline that they're developing, too. I mean, obviously, the scene's coming up here in a second, right here. <laughs> And now wait a few moments, let him rest. This should help you remember everything. Give you something extra to assist. Let's go through it again. The pain is difficult, isn't it? When he regains consciousness, double the voltage. We need to bring him back. I love it in slow-mo, it's pretty amazing. <laughs> yeah, slow motion is awesome. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Go um, ahead, Tilixen. <laughs> There's definitely a lot of single player, and they, you know, they could reveal a lot of stuff for multiplayer, which we'll see a little bit later as uh, some still images for weapons. Um, but yeah, it's crazy what they have done with this. I love it. I could be wrong, but I think I counted maybe three or four actual campaign missions revealed in the trailer. Yeah, here's all here. the SP and MP images, or video play, sorry. First we broke down and now the audio only on the first set. It was just the audio of him in the room. We need to bring him back. And there seems ah. to be that one recurring character um, that yeah. we, we saw a still image of, the bandana, I think. Yeah, he's, he's commonly in this, and it, it seems like he is going to take a huge role in probably. the campaign. Pro <laughs> probably, yeah. no. No, he won't even be in there. He'll probably die in, like, the first mission. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you know he's he's a credits guy. And so. then they'll need to bring him back. I right? think. <laughs> no, <I'm kidding. laughs> I think he'll be a, uh, you know, a main character, not necessarily you. Uh, I don't think you'll really know who you are. Maybe you will. Maybe you won't. But I think he'll be, you know, a Captain Price type figure guy. Okay, so here we got the still shot. Sorry to take. <laughs> the first one was like a. <laughs> it, you'll you'll see what it is later. You got the Car 15 with grenade launcher. Um, as far as what we think it is. The IBM, or Intercontinental Ballistic Missile. You've got the military facility. Lots of people think this is Nazi zombies. It's not. I can almost guarantee you. Um, the workers aren't Caucasian. You can notice they have dark skin. This looks like multiplayer footage to me. Um, I like, I kind of raffled at that, the guy blowing up. He was, like, climbing on the top of the car. This one's really interesting. Everybody seems friendly in this image here. Next thing you know, they're fighting. Looks like he yeah. turned on him, and then he throws him over the cliff, which I thought was awesome. And th I think this is going to take a big part in the campaign as well. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, here's some hey. more single-player MP footage. Um, are you going to be able to fly helicopters? Big question for Treyarch. I think that's really interesting. They Maybe did... similar to the chopper gunner of Modern Warfare 2, but not over-the-top cheap. Um... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you never know. Uh, here's your guy repelling. Um, out of the chopper. You can see the rope right there. Um, 
right for there, some of my subscribers. Look, it looks like the lunar rover in that image too in the flames. I was kind of shocked to see it there. I was like, why is it there? It doesn't make sense. Um, the date or whatever that is, 2010. Three, two. We don't know what that is yet. This looks like a helicopter sinking um, and a man escaping. Sinking. Here's the Viet Cong. <laughs> uh, this image was really interesting. I don't know what's in that yet. It's really hard to decipher. Um, there's your Huey. That's a cool picture. That I looks love that sick. One. <laughs> yeah. There's your main character. Look in the left. You can barely see him. Yeah. Here he is again. See his tattoos. He's commonly in there. He's got the bandana. He's got the tattoos. And you see him in it's a like lot a of footage. Yeah, he does. He looks sick. Here's, uh, um, for some of my subscribers, <laughs> really fast, just can you explain what Black Ops, what time era this is going to take place in and everything, what it could take place in? It's seemingly uh. Cold War era, and I don't – I honestly – the great thing about this is they don't have to completely follow history. Sure, they're going to probably have some major events um, from history, but they can basically interpret it any way they want. So what do you think, Talixian? True. Yeah, a lot of the Call of Duties like kind of split the campaign up into different sections. Uh, I think we're going to be going through different times, probably. Yeah, I, I think it's going to jump around quite a bit. I mean, it's obvious from the trailer. <laughs> there's some crazy stuff going on. Yeah, it's not just Vietnam. It's not just um, you know just one era Ooh, <laughs> or gut. one war. Yeah, a little RPK seventy four. I think. Um, Here's some and, and there's that, the, that footage right there is really interesting if you watch the video play of it. Um, the guy's all running around and fighting. Here's the guy in the lab coat again. Look, you can see him in the flame kind of image. Um, oh, you're right. I don't know what shot. Um, is that. What, do you, what do you think that shot is, Talixian? <laughs> I, I wouldn't spaz. know. I'm not a shoddy guy. I have no I don't idea. know. Come on, SMGs you can, for me. <laughs> Jeff, you know what that is. And what's up with this no. dude jumping off the cliff or whatever it is with no parachute? Where's yeah. the parachute? That's Suicide. One, that's one tough guy. Either that or he got thrown <laughs> off or I don't know. See, there's the He's main poor, character. Right? Frank Barnes. Okay, a little bit of backstory of that. Um, Treyarch did a casting call um, for a patriot named Frank Barnes, and he was a Vietnam, Vietnam era like veteran. And uh, they had basic information regarding a character they wanted to get cast for. So it's believed. Oh, and there you see Frank Barnes uh, being rescued there to rescued. By the helicopter, but um, yeah, that's kind so, of. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> is that the rumored name we're gonna? I think that... so. I think that's Frank Barnes. <laughs> I really yeah. do. There he is. I there. Mean, Look at the bandana. Me. See it. See the bandana again. And the and then it looks like Frank Barnes getting shot. I don't know. I could be wrong. That's could go any way. But now, what like, is this whole this space is thing? This is the iconic SR seventy one Blackbird. I mean, come on. <laughs> The fact that they put the Blackbird in there was it blew me away. I was like, it totally makes sense um, that they would put the Blackbird in this game, and it was like such an iconic via, uh, airplane. I mean, the yeah. Russians knew it was in the sky, and they couldn't take it down or do anything about it. There's nothing they could do to stop it. <laughs> I mean, it was huh. in the sky, and it was never going to come down. <laughs> so, with the uh, helicopter footage we saw during like the in-game cinematics i think that's going to be kind of how uh, world at war had when we were in the planes shooting at the boats and then you'd go and save your teammates i think it's going to be like a kind of a sequence like that you know have yeah. its own separate level that totally makes sense uh, or even in like modern warfare 2 where you're shooting out of the helicopter and covering your teammate or is that more that's more in like uh, what spec ops yeah so. Spec Ops. <laughs> Did somebody say Spec Ops? <laughs> Spec Ops. <laughs> Nazi zombies all the way. I mean, if they could just get Nazi zombies four-player split screen, that would be the best party game out there. Four friends playing Nazi zombies. Yeah. So the hot topic all is night. obviously zombies, right? <laughs> Treyarch need to do that. Um, Definitely zombies. I, I mean, Treyarch knows the success of zombies. It's, I mean, to think that they wouldn't be bringing it on a standalone game or within Black Ops is pretty silly. I mean, we all know that they introduced a teleporter um, in Darius, so who's to say they can't make everything modern and, and build a great story with that? I mean, I, I really see them taking it a modern way with zombies. Yeah. Because they and can't, I mean, <laughs> could you imagine still being stuck with a Thompson? <laughs> like, I mean, I yeah, love the Nazi sick, zombies, I and I don't it, want them to ruin the story, you know, but at the same time, I want to use some modern weaponry and dominate some zombies. Who doesn't want to, right? Uh, exactly. Well, we're actually coming to the end of this here, but um, guys, this was really awesome. How much you broke down this trailer, and I think when they have to, when they make another one, we're gonna have to do this again. 
Um, thank you for doing this with me. You guys are amazing, smart. I would have never got any of this. And if you want to go discuss any of this, you saw Vosti. It's We the Gamers, right? Yeah, we the gamers dot com, and it'll be in more info. So there you there'll go, be right a there. link to that, there and go become gamers. a member, talk about it, and uh, you'll see me and everyone else there that was talking about this. So Sweet. thanks for being here, guys.